Hey, everybody. So today we're going to be discussing all the metaphysical properties of blue onyx. And as you can see here, we have a whole bunch of rough blue onyx specimens. Let me grab one of these. And blue onyx, I will say right out of the gate, is it the most amazing, beautiful stone to look at? Probably not. But when it's in its natural state like this, it, this is kind of how it looks. It's kind of like ocean-like. It has the range between the blues and the gray and a lot of the those tan um, lines that run through it. And they do stand out more, those bands, on polished pieces. Uh, this is a good one here. So let me get that to zoom in. You can see all the, the light brown, like tan bands that run through. On, on a polished piece, it makes it pop more and you can get a lot more color out of it and it looks better. But here's the thing. You have to be careful with blue onyx because if you go to a crystal shop and you know how the crystal shops have all those little bins of all the, the little polished gemstones, you're going to see blue onyx most likely a very dark blue almost comparative to like a lapis, it's, it's dyed. Whenever you see that, whenever you see, this is what blue onyx looks like in its natural state. It should be a grayish blue and have those tan lines like that. Whenever you see a dark, dark, real dark blue lapis looking blue onyx, it's not necessarily fake, but it's dyed. And I don't know, just something about certain crystals and minerals that are dyed, just kind of a, a, a turn off. I like it in its natural state, in its natural beauty. And they do that just to try to sell them. Um, a lot of the bigger polished pieces, I don't know if they, they're dyeing them, but something to keep in mind. And if you are buying a big polished uh, blue onyx sphere, they could get pretty pricey. So if it looks similar to this in its polished state, you know it's real or not dyed, but if it's super dark blue, it's definitely dyed. So it will still have the benefits and the metaphysical properties, but I don't know, just something about them dyeing it is a little bit of a turnoff. I'd rather it natural. And as you know, I kind of uh, gravitate toward natural specimens like these. So this is what it looks like. And blue onyx, is the sobriety stone that's its name that's its focus and i'm going to elaborate on exactly what all that means and what goes along with it and i people that really delve into metaphysical properties of crystals you might be jumping up wait a minute amethyst is the sobriety crystal well so is blue onyx blue onyx is also this it's called the sobriety stone and for good reason and it, its main focus to me is mental weakness. Now, sobriety, mental weakness, it all goes hand in hand. It's, I'm not going to uh, associate it with drugs and alcohol and all that kind of stuff. Let's, let's pick something a little different and something that I could relate to or, or anybody could relate to. Say you're eating junk food all the time or you're you're putting off your your smoking and uh different types of addictions like that where you get stuck in that negative pattern and ah eh, screw it i'm just gonna have another cupcake what's the difference at this point ah eh, screw it i'm just gonna have another smoke whatever the case may be whatever your addiction is generally it starts with a mental weakness of you just give up and say, eh, whatever, eh, I'll get it next time. This is the, the reason this is called the sobriety stone is because it helps strengthen your willpower. And blue onyx and willpower, those two words, perfect together. Absolutely perfect. It helps to get rid of those bad habits and really, really, really strengthens your willpower 
quite a bit. And it is perfect to pair with Amethyst, which is another sobriety stone. You pair the two of them, you could definitely break those old habits. And it really, really works. I, I can attest to it. I, I've used this and I work with Blue Onyx um, frequently, frequently enough. Maybe not as enough as I should be, but if you're going through some type of a bad habit, definitely reach for this. It's definitely going to help you. And especially if you pair it with Amethyst. The two of them with the combo, it's awesome. Um, this also is a great stone that personally what I've experienced is if you're working with your guides and that's a whole other topic, but if you're working with your spirit guides, what Blue Onyx does, it doesn't necessarily, from what I personally have delved into with this stone, meditating. It's not necessarily connecting you with your spirit guide. It's almost like opening the window in your room and you could see your spirit guide on the other side. It's not going to just you know, bust through the window. It's kind of creating, opening the curtain, so to speak, where now you could kind of interact with your spirit guide and hear things clearer, um, connect better. That's a good one to, I wanted to bring up because if you really look, a lot of the stuff based on Blue Onyx, it really doesn't mention spirit guides, but from my personal experiences, it definitely helps to uh, get closer with them. And like I said, it, it kind of, it doesn't really connect right away, but it helps open that window so you could have visibility and have an opportunity to work with them a lot easier. But the main thing with this is willpower and bad habits. And it, it definitely will get rid of all that stagnant, energies that help you with that mental weakness of it, it gives you that push and that energy exactly where you need it to overcome in a positive way which is very important to to getting rid of breaking bad habits which can be difficult it can be very difficult let me grab my big guy this one has some nice coloration and uh very nice and i also do sell these um I think only all natural. I don't have any polished. Um, I don't think I've ever sold any polished Blue Onyx. Maybe I will in the future, but I do sell Blue Onyx uh, like these in my Etsy shop, which is CourtdaleCrossings.com. Um, and Blue Onyx can get pretty pricey, but in the natural state, I also like selling natural stuff because you could. it doesn't have to be super expensive. You could get stuff for a pretty good price, especially like larger ones like this. But anyway, back to the metaphysical properties. Um, it's also going to get rid of any already absorbed negativity that you have, whether it's from your past that's stuck with you. Um, and it really expels all that stuff and it gets rid of it. And it creates that positive outlook where, let's say... You're making a YouTube video and you're making it on, I don't know, growing plants and you're having a, a tough time getting through all this and you get stuck in that, whatever, I just, I won't even make it, I'll make it. And, and, and you get into that negative outlook. This is perfect to work with because it's going to help you bust through all that and help that positivity shine through and really. It just gives you that pinpoint precision of, from a positive standpoint, okay, what can I do to make this video? What, and, and it really helps focus all your intentions to creating what your desire is in the end. And it's fantastic at that. And definitely, this is uh, great to work with. Another one, obviously, Throat chakra, you could see the light blue. Everything is associated with the throat chakra, where self-expression, communication, great for that. 
It's going to remove struggles in communication. It's going to help um, give you the courage to say what you're thinking or feeling in a constructive way, in a healthy way. Instead of, you know, if you're one of those guys or girl, whatever, that it, you can't talk to somebody and, and, and you get frustrated. And, blah, 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 and you're, you're, this helps you to do it in a constructive way and not like a moron and let you talk and, 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 and express what you're feeling in a good, healthy way. It's great for your throat chakra and it helps with uh, communication 100%. Um, definitely, you want to cleanse this before each use because this will hold very strongly will hold um, emotions uh, like glue. So you want to definitely put this through a cleanse of washing it in your sink, letting it sit overnight in the moonlight. Definitely want to cleanse Blue Onyx because it's very sticky, so to speak, in terms of holding emotions. It will hold them strong for a very long time. So uh, and I think that's pretty much about it about this one. I mean, the main thing to recap, this is called the sobriety stone for a reason. And it's going to help you with those negative impulses. And I think that's a big one. I mean, mental weakness, uh, it, it's so easy to talk yourself out of doing something and you get into that whatever, I'll just do it another day. Uh, and you just get into that rut and that this really does help with that tremendously. So if you're interested in picking some of this up, like I said, I, I'm, I don't know if I even have these listed yet, but I will at some point. Blue Onyx is pretty fantastic. Definitely a lot to this. And I could probably keep going and talk more, but Trying to keep these videos around 10, 12 minute range. Don't want to bore you guys too much. So <laughs> it's only so much you could really talk about, but they are um, great to work with. So, all right. I will see you guys next time for the next video.